It's the final home game of Joe Paterno's 45th season on the sidelines at Beaver Stadium. But the question of whether Joe Bob plans to return was answered this week. The big question today surrounds Michigan State. Will the Spartans win at least a share of the Big Ten title for the first time since 1990? Hi, everybody. Mike Patrick along with Craig James. Heather Cox joining us on the sidelines today from a very chilly, windy, and sometimes snowy State College. Mark D'Antonio now in his fourth year at Michigan State and has really turned this program around to make it a national contender. Penn State won the toss. They defer to the second half. Benny Fowler and Larry Caper are deep to receive the opening kickoff. Fowler across the 20 to the 29-yard line. They'll start from there. They start from the 29. Cousins gives to Baker. Nice hole straight up the middle, and Baker cracks out to the 45-yard line. Stopped by Drew Astorino. Baker on the toss. Has a blocker on the outside, cuts it back first down and more just inside the 10-yard line. Michigan State, 90%. That's pretty good. Baker again. Got the edge. Dives for the goal line. Touchdown. And we'll talk about the future after that. He's only going to be 85. Come on. I'm going to try the screen throw underneath the green. And he's tackled in the backfield by Colin Neely. Out of the eye this time. Baker straight ahead. Gaping hole straight up the middle. And he rams his way out to the 40-yard line. Cousins quickly again throwing to the tight end. They have gone to the middle from the first pass. Double reverse. Keyshawn Martin blockers in front. 20. Cut down at the 15-yard line. 35 yards on a double reverse. Cousins wide open. Nobody covered B.J. Cunningham. Nobody. Danton Lynn was coming on a blitz. But somebody's got to make up for that. Second and ten. McGloin. Back shoulder throw almost intercepted and should have been by Johnny Adams. Mike, thanks so much. Coach, you're one half away from claiming a share of the Big Ten title for the first time since 1990. What's your message to the team to keep them focused and not looking ahead? Well, we just have to continue to play for the next play. I think that's very important. And, uh, you know, we're looking along long tunnel. There's a, there's a light at the end of that tunnel. It's still a long ways away. we got to keep pushing to the light. And today, Coach, it's certainly football weather. How is this weather affecting the efficiency of your team? Oh, we're playing hot. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> and Heather, as long as that light isn't an oncoming train. Third and about a yard and a half. McGloin under center. And they're going to make him punt it away. They went to Davon Smith on the toss, tried to cross him up, and Colin Neely stayed home and made a terrific play. Uh, so you've got Kirk Cousins sitting over on the sideline now. That ankle of his and shoulder not staying warm. McGloin, Stephon Green missed pressure off the side. Colin Neely was coming from the outside. Stephon Green almost whiffed, and McGloin was meat after that. Cousins with time goes out in the flat to Caper, and Larry Caper has a first down inside the 40-yard line. Blitz coming. Cousins rolls away from pressure, throws over the middle, Linthicum, and he's very close to the sticks. But they're back within field goal range, first down Michigan State. Cousins with time over the middle again. Cunningham touch.
touchdown. B.J. Cunningham beat Morris to the inside, and what a throw by Cousins. Two touchdown catches for Cunningham today. He leads the club with nine this year. When Cousins just continues to get it done. I, you know, and he showed right there that his ankle, his shoulder, and he's playing again. No problem with those. Good zip on that pass. Conroy for the point after. Now Michigan State, the 22 fourth quarter points they scored against Purdue, pretty impressive. I mean, and to me, that's a team that that stays focused. They play 60 minutes. They are they're on task. They have had three big come from behind wins this year. Want to be a flanker pass here? They'll throw it back to Nickel. Nickel looking for a block inside the 25. They almost had Keyshawn Martin dead in his tracks after the handoff, but he reversed his field and got it back to Nickel. And they'll go to the Wildcat as Keith Nickel comes on. The former quarterback goes under center. Roll out. Throws to the end zone. Gant. Touchdown. Nickel was a five-star recruit coming out of high school. Went to Oklahoma as a quarterback. Didn't work out. Transferred here. They turned him into a wide receiver. But this is why he was an all-star in high school. I like the fact that Gant, the tight end, stopped up. He didn't keep running towards the other side there. And, and uh, Nickel knew exactly where the ball and the receiver should be. The tight ends for Michigan State combined. Seven catches. 77 yards yards in the pair of touchdowns. They have been the difference in this ballgame. And Michigan State answers the Penn State touchdown and goes back on top by 18. Michigan State has made so many dramatic comebacks this year. Can Penn State do it to them? There's the bouncer. Michigan State has the football. And why not? It's the tight end, Brian Linthicum, who's had such an outstanding day with Charlie Gant, the other tight end. They have been exceptional today, and he makes the big play on the hands team. And the Spartans of Michigan State, with one misstep this year, the loss to Iowa, will claim a share of the Big Ten title for the first time since 1990. Hey, Heather. That's waiting a long, long time. Hey, Heather, you know, going in at halftime, Coach D'Antonio said he could, you know, see the light at the end of that tunnel. I think he just found it. And it's got a, it's got a share of that title on it. And now for Michigan State, it is up to the BCS standings to determine who goes to the Rose Bowl and who goes to a lesser bowl. And Mark Antonio has taken this program full circle from somebody who wasn't uh, a, a club that was not competitive in the Big Ten to a share of the championship, and Heather is with them right now. Thanks so much, Coach. You win here at Penn State for the first time since 1965, earns you a share of the Big Ten title. How monumental is this milestone to you? It's huge. It's huge. And, you know, we didn't make it easy down the stretch there with a couple of things that happened. But, uh, you know, our, our, I can't say enough about our football players. We knew we had to endure the whole game. If something had, was going to come down the line, and we are going to have to play at the end. But our guys did it got it done. Coach, did a Great job. All the Spartan fans out there, go green. We are Big Ten champs. We are Big Ten champs. First time in 20 years. Uh, so happy for everybody. And Coach, how much more significant is this achievement, considering what you've been through health-wise and just how challenged your team was because of it? Oh, I'm all good. I'm all good. I've been blessed. And uh, I want to thank everybody for all their prayers and thank our players. Coach, I know it's a very emotional win. Congratulations. Thank you. The man who is always composed and it finally gets to him at a moment where you would expect it to. And congratulations to Mark D'Antonio. Our hat is off to him and the kids at Michigan State for a terrific year.
What a great game for Michigan State. What a great effort for Penn State. The final score, 28-22. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Mike Patrick, Craig James, Heather Cotts. So long, everybody. We send you to Wendy Nix.